Hello and welcome to the Missouri Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. You can direct your questions to a specific school, a couple of schools, or all of our representatives to answer a question for you about their institution. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. That's why that Q&A box is really important. This is just one of many different sessions that have been happening as a part of programming for Missouri students. And this presentation, like all the other sessions, is being recorded. They all will be available within about a week at the same website where you registered, strivescan.com slash Missouri. Tonight, we're going to be hearing from six great schools, and I'm really excited to turn it over to our first program uh, our, that we'll be hearing from tonight, and that's going to be Drake University. Great. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Hi, everybody. I'm going to share my screen. My name is Megan Rush, and I work here at Drake University uh, in Des Moines, Iowa. As an admission counselor, I cover half of Missouri. So I cover the eastern side of Missouri, St. Louis area. My colleague, Evan Favreau, uh, covers the western side, including Kansas City. So I'm excited to share with you guys a bit more about Drake today. First and foremost, we have to talk about our live mascot, Griff. He's there on your left. He is a real bulldog, 60 pounds of chunk. Uh, he lives off campus with a family but it's so fun to see him at all the sporting events. And whenever I get to pet him, uh, it's the best day ever. So if you do come visit, you have a chance to meet him. Let's start with some fun facts about Drake. So we are about 3000 undergrad students, a little under that, considered a smaller school. Uh, it's, we're small where it matters, but we are in the city of Des Moines. We are the fastest growing city in the Midwest. Small class sizes, that's an advantage of a smaller school. Our average class size is 21 students and our student faculty ratio is 10 to one. But we're not limited on undergraduate programs, over a hundred different areas to major in, division one athletics, so you can cheer on your bulldogs, 140 plus student organizations, Hammock Club is actually an organization, and nearly 70% of our students are from outside the state. So coming from Missouri is pretty normal. There are a couple themes that we've identified uh, for a Drake student's path. One of them being personal mentorship. And you can see here in these photos, the personal mentorship between professors and students is very much valued. Knowing your professor's name, being able to grab coffee with them outside of class and most of the time they know you're struggling in a class before you even do. So the professors, that one-on-one -on -one attention, that individuality makes a huge difference uh, at Drake University and something we very much value. Another is the power of community, which if there, we pulled a hundred students, one word that would probably come up the most is community. And it's special here on Drake's campus. Uh, including tradition. So that photo in the middle is our Drake Relays, which is a huge tradition on campus, a track and field event. There's street painting, a paint fight, uh, just the power of community and all being with Drake is, is uh, very valued as well. Not to mention we're in the city of Des Moines and I did not know much about moving here. Um, about Des Moines until I moved here in 2014 to start at Drake University. And I'm so glad I chose a school with a city like Des Moines. Employment growth. So college is important, right? But it's that stepping stone to that next step in your uh, life, which is hopefully getting a job or um, going to grad school, something like that. So check out these major Midwest cities, Des Moines has the highest employment growth between 2010 and 2018 at 21%. So whether it means getting an internship, getting a job here, it's easy to do. Best place to live in the US, top 10 best place for business and careers and a best job market city. Uh, not to mention we have some pretty good food, which I will not talk more about because I could talk about that for hours, but uh, food, internship, 
social life, festivals, Des Moines kind of has it all. And we're about seven minutes from downtown. Opportunity to serve. This is also a huge uh, value at Drake University. And I talk about serve in the capacity of your typical service, helping in the community, uh, maybe building houses for Habitat for Humanity. We are one of three private institutions in the country who have a boys and girls club on campus. So we offer after school programming for students K through 12 in the Drake neighborhood. And our students can work directly with them, especially education majors, it's a great opportunity. But I'm also talking about serving in leadership positions on campus, uh, downtown on different boards. Drake students get out into the neighborhood. We're not just on Drake's campus, we're in Des Moines. We are always present. It's also important to think about what are you doing after college, right? I talked a bit about employment growth. Uh, we sound out a survey six months after graduation and we say, are you doing what you wanna do? Whether that be grad school or a job. This is hot off the press. We got these results just last week from our class of 2020, 95.5 percent of students say, yep, Drake prepared me, I'm doing well. In a pandemic, the past years we've been over 98%. So we are overjoyed uh, that it is this high and you better believe the Career and Development Center are working with those students that still need help finding a job. Something to keep in mind when you're looking at colleges is uh, tuition, right? A tuition guarantee, Drake has a tuition lock. So what you pay your first year, you're gonna pay all four years. Great for budgeting, your scholarships maintain value. Uh, so a school that may appear less expensive at the beginning, come your senior year, could be more. New things around campus include our dining hall, the hub. We have a new soccer stadium being built that we're gonna share with the local high schools around Des Moines, as well as the Harkin Institute for Public Policy. So lots of new things going on. Um, Things to keep in mind, we have some events. I encourage you all to go to drake.edu slash visit. If you have any questions, I'll drop my contact info in the chat. Thank you so much um, for your time. Thanks. Thanks, Megan, for sharing Drake with all of us tonight and getting us started as the first school um, of the evening. Our next presentation now is going to be Indian Hills Community College. Okay, hey, hello everyone. My name is Abby and I am the rep for Missouri from Indian Hills. Um, so just a couple um, really life-changing benefits about coming to Indian Hills is that we have- Hey our, Abby, one quick yeah. question. Did you want it to be bigger full screen? Oh yes, how do I- Easier for everyone to read. Um, <laughs> you can use, um, either if you go to file, you can use a start presentation up there, or you can go to the bottom of your screen and, and um, oops, sorry, not that part. There we go. Um, if you go to the bottom right hand of your screen down by the bar that changes the size, there'll be a square, yep, with an arrow. Just click that and it'll go to go presentation okay. mode full screen. There you go. About that, guys. Easier for everybody to see, just wanted to be sure. Um, so, like I was saying, Indian Hills has four day academic weeks. So our classes run Monday through Thursday, which is really nice if you're wanting a part time job or you need that extra day to study. Um, at Indian Hills, we also have small class sizes. So our student to faculty ratio is about 17 to one. Um, we also have really affordable um, affordable tuition. We actually have one of the lowest tuition rates in Iowa. We have a lot of on-campus housing options for students and every student has the opportunity to meet with an academic advisor. And we also have our Academic Success Center, which is a free resource for students to utilize where they can um, get peer and professional tutoring, as well as um, they have access to a computer lab and a math and writing lab as well. Um, so we have three different divisions at Indian Hills. So we have our arts and sciences division, our advanced technologies, and then our health science division. So our arts and sciences is really more for students who are looking to come and get their AA or AS degree and then transfer on to that four year university. So you can see at the bottom of the slide, there are um, the top schools that a lot of our students choose to transfer to, but you can um, choose to transfer to any four year institution that you are wanting to go to. 
And then we have our advanced technology. So these are gonna be more of our hands-on programs. So as you can see, we have our animal science, precision farming, landscape and turf grass. Um, we also have a lasers program and an auto tech program. And students who are in our advanced technologies um, programs, um, you receive certificates, diplomas, or they can also receive their Associate of Applied Science. So it really just depends on how much education students are wanting to get there. And then um, finally, we have our health science division. So this is gonna be the programs that are wanting to work in the um, health field. So we have our nursing program, we have rad tech, phlebotomy, um, medical billing and coding. Um, same with ad our advanced technologies. These students are earning their certificates and diplomas or their associate of applied science. Um, with our health science, we do have an additional screening process that students do need to go through. So they will need to have a certain GPA, turn in their Accuplacer, ACT, or SAT test scores, and their high school transcripts. Um, so this slide here just kind of shows the difference between like a four-year public average, a four-year independent um, average, and then what um, a lot of our students pay at Indian Hills. So you can see that we are very affordable. And then we have um, financial aid. So like I said, we have some of the lowest tuition rates in Iowa. Um, our school code is on this slide. So if you are wanting to include Indian Hills on your FAFSA application, you can absolutely write that number down and get that added in there. And then I feel like one of the most important things that we offer students is our Educational Opportunity Center or our EOC. So the EOC can help students complete their FAFSA application either virtually or in person, whichever they would prefer. Um, and that's not just for students who are coming to Indian Hills, that's for students who are going to any school. So that's a really nice resource um, for families to utilize. And then we have um, three different scholarship opportunities that we offer students at Indian Hills. So we have our foundation scholarships um, where we award over $1.5 million a year to our students. Um, the nice thing about our foundation scholarships is that it's one application and it takes about 20 minutes to fill out. And so students aren't filling out multiple um, scholarship applications. Um, they just fill out the one application. So that's really nice. And then we have our Tom Arnold essay scholarship. Um, so Tom Arnold was a famous actor who went to Indian Hills and he awards two students every year a full tuition scholarship. Um, so he chooses a question. So this year the question is, how has COVID-19 impacted you in a positive way? Um, and you turn that in and he picks the winner. Um, the deadline for both our foundation and Tom Arnold scholarships is March 18th. And then lastly, we have our club scholarships. So we have over 40 um, clubs and organizations on campus that students can get involved in, and they can earn up to a $1,200 scholarship by being an active member in a club. And then I did mention earlier about our on-campus um, living. So we have double, single, and apartment style rooms for students to live on on campus. And all of our residence halls have air conditioning, Wi-Fi, cable, and free laundry facilities, which is really nice so you're not digging around for all the quarters. Um, and living on campus is a great way to meet new friends and stay active on campus. So this slide here just kind of shows a checklist um, if you haven't started um, applying, you can go ahead and apply. We have a free application on our website. Um, then you can turn in your high school transcripts, um, complete your testing if your program requires that. Um, and then once you've been selected, you can fill out our scholarship application and you do complete an online new student orientation and then completing your FAFSA. And then if you do choose to live on campus, completing that application as well. So this last slide here is um, just our social media platform. So if you are interested in Indian Hills, you can get on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and check us out and follow us. Great, thank you so much, Abby, for sharing more about Indian Hills with everyone. Um, we've heard from two schools, we've got four to go. So just wanna remind everyone watching that the Q&A box is open. So you can follow up with the school that's already presented or ask a question for a school that's coming up. Um, so please consider uh, dropping a note in there. All right, our next school is going to be Northwest Missouri State University.
Alrighty. Hi, my name is Madeline Mosbauer. I am an admissions representative here at Northwest Missouri State. Um, I'm also a recent graduate. Um, so this is our campus. We do accept daily visits. So if you want to come down to our campus, we'd be more than happy to show you our academic buildings, our res halls, our dining hall. Honestly, any building you want to see on campus, we'd be more than happy to show you. Um, a little makeup of our campus is we have a little over 7,000 students on our campus this year. We kind of fluctuate between that 6,800 number. With that number, we have a minority population rate of 12%, 67% being in-state, 33% being out-of-state, and our average age being 20, just meaning that we're a traditional campus. So most high school seniors graduate and come to our campus, but we also have non-traditional students with online programs available. Um, good old Maryville, we're kind of located in that top left corner of Missouri, but we're kind of close to that four state region. Um, we are a small town, but we have a lot to offer in our town. We also are that quick drive to those big cities. And like I said, being close to those four states, it's a quick, easy drive to Kansas City, Lawrence, Lincoln, Council Bluffs. Um, so if you want that big city uh, experience, it's just a quick weekend getaway. Um, but like I said, we have a lot to offer in our town. So we have a bowling alley, we have a board game cafe, we have a movie theater. Um, and then one thing I like to point out is a recent partnership with the Mazingo Lake at Moera. So that top left corner is our picture of Mazingo Lake. That is our lake just east of campus. At Moera, we have ropes courses, we have trap shooting, we have archery, we are getting walking trails with bonfire pits. And this is all included for students. All you need to show is your Bearcat ID, ask them for two kayaks on Saturday, and you can do that. Um, when you're looking for colleges, I highly suggest asking them what their placement rate is, because that's why you're going to college. You want to get a degree and a passion um, that you have a passion for, and then you want to be using your degree once you graduate. Northwest, 96% of our graduates find a job or they continue their education upon graduation within six months. And so our career services really try to host different events throughout the year to get those connections, get those internships, career opportunities um, for the students. And this is available for all students, your freshman year, your senior year, any year you want to go, um, we're more than happy to help you. One thing Northwest does is profession-based learning. So out of all the majors we offer, every single department, we believe on hands-on learning. So we have many different buildings, many different resources for our students. We have our CIE building, which has over $3 million of state-of-the-art equipment that we want our students to get experience using. Um, you're not waiting till your junior, your senior year to get this experience. You're getting into your field your freshman year. Um, our education program, we have an elementary school and an early childhood center on our campus. And those education majors are getting into the classroom, being able to your freshman year, not having to wait till student teaching senior year. But we have, like I said, this department or this opportunity for every single department, every major. Um, we have over 120 majors to choose from. And like I said, all of those, we do include the profession-based learning. That way you can really figure out um, your passion and be able to use it. A little makeup of our campus is we have over 200 store organizations on our campus, but if we don't have something that you guys want from your high school, please bring it to our campus. All you need is four friends and an academic advisor and we can create it for you. Our clubs range from social clubs to academic based clubs. We have many academics for all of our majors, giving those specifics for connections, being able to network. We also have social clubs on campus, including squirrel watching if you wanted to join that. A little bit about our housing options. We have many different options for our first year experiences for Hudson Parent, high rises. But like I said earlier, we do accept daily visits. So if you want to come and view our res hall, we'd be more than happy to show you them. We can even show you a potential tour room that we kind of uh, made up to look like a mock dorm room for a normal academic year. A little bit about our scholarships that we offer our students is we do super scoring test results. So if you've taken the ACT test more than once, you'll benefit from this. With the ACT test, um, we'll take your highest sub scores from each exam and we'll give you your own composite score. This essentially bumps students up one to two composite scores, giving you guys more access to more scholarships. The only thing that you need to do on your part for this is just send over your ACT to our ACT code um, to Northwest and then we'll give you your own composite score from that. A little bit about our scholarships that we offer is they're merit-based, so you can get them all four years and you can stack them on top of each other. So anything that you see, you just line up your high school GPA, your ACT score, you meet where they match. And like I said, they're offered all four years and you can get them um, on top of our other scholarship. Including our multicultural scholarship, this one, you just line up your high school GPA like the last one with your ACT score. And like I said, they're stackable and then redeemable. We also offer for our students a standard scholarship application. This really helps students save time. 
So with that, you just need to fill out an application. It takes a little bit longer, roughly a 40 minute um, to 60 minute application for students. But once you submit that, we will apply you to over 200 scholarships on our campus, helping you guys save time and getting more access to more scholarships. The last thing that I really like to talk about is our, or is our textbooks and laptops included. So as a student, once you're a Bearcat, you get this option or you get this. And so um, our textbooks, instead of having to search Amazon Prime, our teacher or our professors send over the books that they are teaching out of. We'll make you your own personalized brown paper bag and that'll be every textbook you need for the semester. This goes all four years that you're here. And then our tech or our laptops are fully insured and fully equipped. So if you, if something happens to your laptop, you just take it to our tech services. If we can't fix it within 10 minutes, we'll give you a new one. And then they're fully equipped. So anything that you need on there will be already presented. Um, with that, it's, you don't need to worry about buying any memberships or nothing like that. Microsoft Suite will be preloaded. And this is my contact information if you have any questions. Awesome, thank you, Madeline, for sharing Northwest Missouri State University with everybody tonight. Our next school is going to be the University of Northern Iowa. All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for joining the Zoom session. I want to welcome you all to the University of Northern Iowa virtually. Uh, my name is Adalberto Castrejon. I'm an admissions counselor at the University of Northern Iowa, um, and I um, advise all students within the state of Missouri. Um, so you and I, we are a uh, medium-sized institution. So right now we have about 10,500 students enrolled. Um, now our students range from different states across the country, but then also across the world um, among 63 different countries. You and I is located in Cedar Falls, Iowa, which is where the Panther um, head is at in the state of Iowa. At you and I, we have over 90 majors, 25 pre-professional programs, 87 minors in emphasis areas, um, so quite a different, quite a wide array of, of different things to be able to major or double major or add a minor onto. I also want to emphasize that our average classroom size is 29 students. This really allows us to tailor your experience as a student at UNI and really get um, what you're looking for within our university. Now within those classes, a lot of our students are finding that they're being able to build on skills and abilities that they'll then be able to use within their career after they graduate from UNI. Um, so 93% of our students finding that, you know, what they've learned in the classroom, they're able to apply and use um, in their career after they graduate. On campus, we have over 260 student organizations ranging from leadership and community involvement organizations, um, but also to like more fun ones um, like Canoe Battleship, which is, um, you know, some different activities that you're able to join and be able to play um, with your friends, but then also with other students on campus. We are a Division I school, um, and all of our athletic events are free to our UNI students as well. So if you're interested in going to the UNI homecoming football game, for example, you'll be able to do that for free um, with just your UNI ID. We also have some club and intramural sports, and then also our, Gal our Gallagher Blue Dorm Performing Arts Center. Um, you're able to attend any um, two different performances for free each semester as a UNI student as well uh, within our Gallagher Blue Dorm Performing Arts Center. Now admissions requirements. So we go by the RAI or the Regents Admissions Index. On your application to UNI, it will ask you for your ACT score, your cumulative GPA, and then also the number of years in core subject areas in high school. And if that score is above a 245, you're automatically admitted into the University of Northern Iowa. Now, something to bring up is that we are not requiring the ACT or SAT test for admission into UNI for this upcoming fall, but then also for the fall of 2022. Um, so you don't need the test to get admitted into UNI. Tuition and fees at UNI for out-of-state students or for Missouri students is um, 28,640 total direct cost. We have some scholarships for out-of-state students. All out-of-state students receive a $20,000 um, um, amount scholarship for the four years at UNI, which is $5,000 each year. And this doesn't have an ACT or GPA requirement. All out-of-state students, um, so all Missouri students would be able to receive this upon being admitted into UNI. We also have some scholarships um, that are based off of their GPA requirement and then also ACT requirement. The Panther Success Award is another scholarship for out-of-state students, and this only has a GPA requirement. Um, so again, 
you don't need the ACT or SAT um, to get admitted into UNI for this fall and then the next fall. Um, but then we also have some scholarships available for students that doesn't require that test score as well. Our United Scholarship is for our students who identify under an underrepresented population or who have participated in a TRIO or AVID program. And again, just a GPA requirement. We have the Out-of-State Legacy Scholar Award for students who have a grandparent, a parent, or a sibling who has graduated from UNI or a sibling who is currently attending UNI. Um, and then all of our scholarships right here are awarded upon being admitted to UNI and then meeting those requirements as well. We also have the UNI scholarship application, which is one application that students fill out to then be entered into eligibility for campus-wide scholarships. Um, so very, very convenient since it's just one application. And then lastly, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at admissions at uni.edu. That QR, that QR code uh, will also take you to our UNI page. Um, so you can type in your contact information so we can start sending emails to you if you're not already receiving communication from UNI. Thank you so much, Alberta, for presenting the University of Northern Iowa this evening. Our next school, we're going to be hearing from Missouri Western State University. Zach, take it away. How's everybody doing? My name is Zach Stark. I'm with Missouri Western State University. Um, so a little bit about Missouri Western. We were founded in 1915. We have around 4,000 undergrad students, so we're not a huge university, also not a small university. Hey, Zach, it's, sorry to interrupt, yeah, one quick screen, question. Huh? Not full screen, yeah, wanted to make sure everyone can see the best way possible. I used to say 2020 problems, but now it's 2021, so. I don't know why it's not full screen. Um, Try the, um, the square with a little arrow presentation button. You're real close to it. A little bit over. Um, it's by the minus sign on the. Um, oh, oh, here it is. OK, yeah. perfect. Oh, Sorry about there that, There we go. Guys. You're looking great. Uh, now it's good. 89% uh, of our courses have 30 or fewer students. Uh, we have 38 states and 30 countries represented. We have 70 plus majors and minors, so there's a lot of stuff for students to get involved in. 91% uh, of our faculty have a doctorate degree, um, so that means we have no student teachers. It's all professors teaching all the courses, and 92% of our incoming freshmen receive some sort of scholarships or grants. So what kind of sets us apart is we have our Center for Service where students can get free college credit for doing community service. So if students do 120 hours of community service, they basically get one free class that they don't have to pay for. Uh, we're a teach first institution. Uh, our students are able to do research. Our, we have a 17 to one student to faculty ratio. So a lot of small class sizes. Um, and that's what kind of students like also. The largest class lecture hall we have maybe holds like 95 to 100 students, but that would be some sort of biology class or chemistry class. So this talks about we have 70 different majors and minors. You don't have to decide what you want to do till you uh, hit 60 credit hours. So you kind of have two years to kind of figure out what you want to do. Uh, we have our career development center. They'll talk with students to you know see what, what their career plan is and all that good stuff. We take dual credit, AP, IB. So the more credits you can bring into Missouri Western, of course, the quicker you are able to you know get in those major core classes. You're still considered a first time freshman no matter how many credit hours you're coming in with. So you're still eligible for all the freshman scholarships. My favorite thing about Missouri Western is we are in hands-on learning. We are uh, designated by the state of Missouri to be 100% applied learning. Uh, we have a gold Friday, so we have no classes on Friday. So our class schedule goes Monday through Thursday and Fridays are open for students. So you can kind of see what our students do um, on Fridays. Um, applied learning is important. Uh, our students do one, if not all of those bullet points down there at the bottom. Uh, internships, study away, research projects. Our grant, our grant research project was designed by our biology department, but a lot of other academic departments have kind of taken over and done a lot of research uh, with students. So our job placement rate is between 89 and 99% throughout all our 70 different programs we have at Missouri Western because our students are out in the field so early on in their academic journey. This is our main residence hall. We have six residence halls. We have three for uh, freshmen. Uh, this is Scanlon Hall. This is where the Kansas City Chiefs stay for training camp. We are the summer home for the Chiefs, so you might get to stay in Patrick Mahomes' room. Uh, you never know. Uh, we have living learning communities. There are uh, 
no, uh, the, uh, no uh, community style bathrooms. It's all, you know, four person to a bathroom. Uh, we have 24 hour security, free Wi-Fi, $25 parking for the full year. Freshman able to have the car on campus. And we have, uh, you know, nine different places to eat on campus as well. And students living within 50 miles of Missouri Western, they do not have to live on campus if they do not want to. We have a lot of cool attractions on our campus, indoor swimming pool, fitness center, uh, the home of the Kansas City Chiefs for training camp, our on campus health center, and our center for academic support. That's our free tutoring. We have 90 plus student organizations, 20 plus intramural sports. We have all the major athletics. We are in competitive esports now, so we have a brand new esport arena. So if you guys are wanting to play video games competitively, choose Missouri Western. We also have an esport concentration as a major as well. So you can become an a esport major and, and make a lot of money because that's a growing industry. Of course, we have honors, international, special interest group, religious. Um, and if you have a club or organization in mind that we don't have, you can also start one yourself. Here's all of our athletics. We are at NCAA Division II. This is where we're kind of located. We're 35 minutes from the airport, 45 minutes from downtown Kansas City. We have a lot of cool stuff, over 100 different restaurants. But our location in Kansas City is huge when it does come time to do those internships where St. Joseph's is a big enough community where you can do uh, internships, but also Kansas City is right down the road. This is our tuition and fee. I will say we are test optional, so we don't, we don't require an ACT score for admittance. So for our in-state tuition, room and board, all the fees is around $16,392, and that's for any scholarships or financial aid. This is our Griffin Guarantee Scholarship. We have a GPA-only version, so we have a 2.5 between a 4.0. There are automatic upgrades every year, so every single year you get an automatic upgrade. Your sophomore year, you get 1000 junior year, 500 and your senior year, another $500 on top of that. And as long as you stay above a 2.0, you have the scholarship until you graduate. Now, this is kind of like the range, all the different ranges. Now, if students do have an ACT score, for every point above a 20, you get an extra $100 on top of your scholarship. And all this stuff is on our financial aid website also. We also have a A-plus scholarship. So Missouri students, you if you're in the A-plus program, you have the A-plus seal on your scholarship, you get an extra $500 per year on top of your scholarship. So you can see, um, you know, you have the GPA and A-plus, uh, scholarship and then you can also have the GPA A plus and ACT upgrade so you kind of get three different upgrades there uh, for you so you know and we also super score the ACT also so it's never going to hurt you to take the ACT it'll always help you um, this is kind of an example so Joe has a 3.6 his base is 1500 he does have a 24 so he gets $500 and being in the A plus program he gets uh, $250. So over the four years, you can see what that scholarship kind of grows into. Uh, we are free application, uh, nothing costs. We do have a $50 housing deposit, um, but that is, we have no application fee, no essay, uh, nothing like that. Um, and we are open for campus visits uh, Monday through Saturday. Uh, so if you guys are free and want to come to campus visits, we'll, we'll definitely have you. And we want you to meet with someone in the academic departments as well. And here is my contact information. Thank you guys so much for being with me. Great. Thank you so much, Zach, for sharing Missouri Western uh, State with all of us tonight. We'll be hearing from our sixth school now, Nebraska Wesleyan University. So attendees, this is a great time to think of those Q&A questions that you want to ask. And now I'll turn it over to Jackie. Hey, everybody. I'm Jackie from Nebraska Wesleyan University Admissions. I'm also a proud alum, so I love to talk about Nebraska Wesleyan, and I'm going to make this bigger for you here. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit um, about a couple things. So we're going to start with kind of talking a little bit about where we're located and why Nebraska Wesleyan is the right school in the right city. So we do have an 11 to 1 student to faculty ratio. We are a little bit smaller. Um, we are a private university, so our undergraduate population is typically between 16 and 1700 students. And then we also have graduate programs um, that usually grows our population to about 2000, including graduate and adult students. We do have a lot of ways that you can get involved, so there's never going to be a reason to be bored. If you're a student at Nebraska Wesleyan, we have over 90 plus student groups and activities. We also have a lot of opportunities to learn. So we have 132 majors, minors, and pre-professional programs. 
and we are consistently a top 10 university, 10% um, university in the US News and World Report um, regional university um, that they do every year. And then as far as the city of Lincoln goes, we are the 70th largest city in the country. So our population is just under 300,000 people. We are the capital city of Nebraska. So this picture in the, the top right hand corner gives you a really good overview of the state capital, which is the tall building there. Um, and then you can also see all the different buildings downtown. And you also notice a lot of trees. Um, there's tons of trees in Lincoln. We have a lot of parks and outdoor recreation opportunities for you as well. Um, but our campus is really located kind of in a small suburban area that is um, just about a 10 minute drive to downtown Lincoln. And you can actually hop on a bike trail and run or bike right downtown as well. So that's awesome and, and very convenient if you're an active person. We are also in the heart of the Silicon Prairie. So you guys are probably familiar with Apple, Google and the Silicon Valley. Well, Lincoln is um, a very you know, forward thinking city and we have a lot of startups and entrepreneurs. We actually also have the Huddle headquarters right downtown, um, which I'm sure many of you, if you're a student athlete, you're very familiar with Huddle. Uh, we're also known as the happiest city and the healthiest city in the country, which I think those two things go hand in hand as far as happiness and health goes. So personal attention is something that is a core value at Nebraska Wesleyan. That's really, really important for our students. And, um, you know, a big way that that is enforced is in the classroom. And you can see that the average class size is only 16 students. So a lot of you right now probably have classes that are bigger than that. Um, and we really try to focus on keeping our class sizes at least under 25 because you really get a chance to, uh, to get to know your classmates and your professor. And speaking of professors, all of our classes are taught by professors, not by graduate assistants. That's another benefit of being at a smaller private liberal arts university. And then your professor actually is not only going to teach you, they're going to serve as your advisor. So they're going to be the one that is um, helping you set up your schedule to make sure that you get you know, the class schedule that's going to help you graduate in four years. And sometimes students can even graduate in three years if you're coming in with some credits and you um, really challenge yourself to take, you know, close to 18 credits a semester. But I always encourage students just enjoy your time in college and, you know, try to stretch it out to four years because it's going to be a really fun time of your life. Affordability is really important at Nebraska Wesleyan. We do not have out-of-state tuition. For, so for those of you in Missouri, you are going to be starting out at the same cost as a student in Nebraska. Um, which I think is really an awesome feature of a private school. And all of our students do receive financial aid. We offered 15 million in aid distributed in the last year. Um, and when it comes down to it, you know, the process is you, you, of course, you file the FAFSA, or we could also do scholarship only if your family doesn't want to file the FAFSA. But as soon as you get the FAFSA in and you get your application in and you get accepted, then we put together your financial aid award. Uh, we have a financial aid director that personalizes your financial aid award and then our admissions counselors. Um, we get a hold of all of our students and set up a consultation on Zoom to go over the award with you and your family. So we make it really, really easy to understand what's all included in the cost and help you guys really see the value in the education that you're going to receive at Nebraska Wesleyan. And speaking of the, the value of the education, this is our scholarship model. So um, as many other schools have talked about, we do a test optional model, especially because of COVID. This was the first year that we did test optional, but I do foresee us continuing to do it in the future. It was um, something that we had always kind of talked about doing. So just by getting accepted at Nebraska Weston, you're automatically going to get a $15,000 scholarship. Um, and I know some of you might be looking at these criteria and thinking, oh man, my GPA is lower, or I don't know if I can get that high of a test score. Don't fret, we, uh, we do a holistic review. So we are always able to, um, to take every student where they're at and maybe get a little bit more documentation if your marks are under that, but we, we wanna help every student get admitted and get a really good scholarship. And then finally, a big component of our um, curriculum at Nebraska Wesleyan is called experiential learning. So we have a unique curriculum called the Archway Curriculum. And we really focus on, you know, providing a lot of different learning opportunities for our students. And so 100% of our students are going to, going to complete either an internship, um, do research, study abroad, or do service learning. All of our students do at least two of those four things. Um, so we do study abroad at 18 times the national average. And then um, being in a city as big as Lincoln, there's a lot of opportunities for service learning in the community, for the internships, um, tons of opportunities for internships. And then our students also can do research as early as their first year. 
Um, we have over 40 plays and musicals, 12 vocal and instrumental groups, six fraternities and sororities, and we also have 21 varsity athletic teams in NCAA Division III. And finally, if you have questions, please reach out. I'll put some information in the chat and, and that's my contact info. Thank you guys so much. Awesome, thank you so much, Jackie, for sharing Nebraska Wesleyan. Um, we're reaching the end of our time. We do have a few more minutes, so I would like to have one representative from each school pop back on camera, and we're gonna do one Q&A question uh, before we wrap it up together tonight. Um, all right, so the question we're gonna answer is to share about a favorite event or campus tradition, something that's just really special to your um, student experience and community. We're gonna go in the same order that we presented. As the representative ahead of you finishes, just feel free to turn your mic back on and dive right into your answer. And we'll just start there. So thanks, Megan, for starting us off um, from Drake. I appreciate it, Jennifer. Mentioned in our uh, the Drake slideshow, you know, back 40 minutes ago, I talked a bit about the Drake relays. And so I would say that is probably my favorite, favorite campus tradition. I'm a Drake alum, and as a student, it was fun to experience. As an alum, it's great to experience. Basically, the one week we get to be a big school, 40,000 people come to campus. Uh, it's a track and field event, so you have high schools around Iowa, colleges from across the country, even some Olympians coming to run here in Des Moines. I've seen the world record for the mile be broken, uh, all sorts of food truck events, um, street painting, so painting uh, paint fight and um, a whole bunch of traditions that any Drake student can tell you about if you ask them. Hi guys, um, I'm from Indian Hills. Um, so I talked a while back, so I just wanted to reintroduce myself. Um, so actually, fun fact is that I didn't start working at Indian Hills until a week before the same week that COVID happened. So I haven't been able to experience any um, traditions or like things that go on on campus. So I wish I had a better answer for you, um, but um, all of our faculty and staff are really fantastic and they are so willing to get involved with students. Um, and like I said, we have over 40 um, clubs and organizations on campus that students are involved in. So um, I really encourage students to be involved. And if you do want to come to campus and tour, we have student ambassadors who can talk more um, about our tradition and events with you. So I wish I had a better answer, but I kind of started at a weird time. So. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hi everyone, my name is Tristan Mistretta and I'm representing Northwest Missouri State. You heard from my colleague, uh, Maddie Mosbauer, just a little bit ago. My favorite uh, tradition has to be uh, our Arrowhead game where we take over Arrowhead Stadium um, there uh, in Kansas City. An amazing opportunity for our alumni and our current Bearcats to come together. We do cookouts, we take over the parking lot, the stadium itself, and nothing matches the energy of Arrowhead uh, game day. Hello everyone, uh, Alberto here again from you and I. I would say um, our homecoming pep rally is, is really awesome, really great. Um, a lot of our student organizations will get like a go-kart or a golf cart um, and they'll be able to like decorate it and then go through the parade as well and, and get um, some celebrations and cheer on. So that's probably my, my favorite tradition that we have here at you and I. Uh, my favorite thing at Missouri Western, we have our Griffin Edge program. It's a three-day uh, class for all incoming students, whether it be freshmen or transfers, just to get them acclimated to Missouri Western. There's a lot of cool stuff that they get to do in those three days, a glow party, a dance party. There's a tons of cool stuff. And then our students can actually be workers, uh, so you can have your own Griffin Edge group. I was a Griffin Edge leader for four years at Missouri Western. It was really great. Um, so that's probably my favorite thing about Missouri Western. My favorite tradition at Nebraska Wesleyan is um, the arch walk that we do. So we have a thing with arches on our campus and every time we have new students move in, we have them take a walk around campus and walk under the arches and then we do a welcome ceremony. And then we do the same thing when they graduate, they walk under all the arches on campus together and then they do their graduation. So it kind of helps you come full circle and it's something that our students really love and it's a big celebration when they come to campus and then when they leave. Awesome. I love hearing a little bit about each of these, whether it's an event or a traditional moment or something that's, you know, special. I hope that for everyone who watches that makes them think, let me go Google some of this. Let me go see a picture, check out social media and see if, you know, it helps you to look at and think, oh, could I see myself there on campus? 
Um, well, we are reaching the end of our time together tonight, and we have heard from six great schools, each with um, incredible and unique experiences for students. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you as we're wrapping up to our um, to all of our representatives. You know, these are true admissions pros, and they are here to help all students through this journey, the decision making process. Um, so thank you for sharing not just the facts and figures, but your passion and excitement for the opportunities you have in and out of the classroom for students. Thank you to everyone who's watching. I hope that this has been a great either start or continuation of your college journey and that you are ready to reach out to these representatives, head to those websites and learn a lot more, dig into more of the details for each of these incredible schools. And so now it's time for the, um, you know, the little last little reminders. So when you close your window, there's going to be a link to a very quick four question survey. We would appreciate any um, feedback that you can provide. Also, this is just one of many sessions uh, that have been hosted as a part of the programming for Missouri students. I hope that you will check out this session's recording as well as all the other session recordings. They'll be available in about a week's time at the same website where you all uh, signed up. So that would be strivescan.com slash Missouri. Thank you again, everyone, for spending part of your day with us and best luck, best of luck in your search process for your next academic and out of classroom home. Good night, everyone.